Hello, Port Townsend. This is Rod Davis, the Executive Director of the Port Townsend Chamber of Commerce. At least for two more days. Came six months ago, never expected to be leaving in six months, and it's just heartbreaking. Uh, unfortunately, I've had some family situations, and it's going to take a lot of my time to be gone. I discussed it with the Board of Directors, and uh, I think we came to the only logical conclusion, which is that uh, this community, is, with its vibrancy, uh, the things that are changing so rapidly, uh, that there needs to be consistent, constant leadership, uh, somebody who's here every day working with their hands on the helm, and unfortunately that's not an option that I have. It's great to be an only child when you're a kid, but you know when the shoe's on the other foot and you've got 80-year-old parents who are having problems and you're the only one who can do anything about it, then you have to go do your duty. And Oh, we hate to leave Port Townsend. Port Townsend has been uh, an experience of a lifetime. This is a community that is incredible from its vistas, uh, its views. I mean, everywhere you look, you can see water, mountains. You can drive downtown and have to stop and let the deer go across the street. Sometimes that feels like an aggravation, but, you know, when you have somebody from out of town and you have to stop and let the deer walk across the street, they can't get over it. That's all you hear for the next three or four months when you're talking to them. Is, I can't believe we had to stop and let the deer walk across the street. Uh, dogs, I love dogs, and this community just welcomes dogs. Uh, the Victorian homes, the Hastings building, uh, what's being done on the waterfront with the new Maritime Center, what that's going to bring to this community, uh, Centrum and uh, Fort Warden. There's no place else like Fort Warden and Centrum in this country, probably not in the world. It is uh, unique in my experience because the people who live in Port Townsend live in Port Townsend because this is where they wanted to live. They were attracted to the lifestyle. Uh, most people, unfortunately, but dealing with reality, they retire where they work their last day of work, they just stopped going to work and stayed home, or they retire where the grandkids are, or they retire where the doctor who took them through the gallbladder attack and the heart attack 20 years ago is because they're not going to move as long as he's still in practice. But the people that live in this community came to Port Townsend because of Port Townsend. They don't agree on much of anything, and everybody certainly has an opinion, but they all love this community. And the entire Olympic Peninsula, I mean, every time we have a weekend off and we get to drive someplace and look at what uh, what is here, uh, uh, there's a retirement community out on Diamond Point, which I didn't know. But the views of the Straits of Juan de Fuca, you can stand out there and watch the ships and the shipping lanes, and people don't realize what a major commercial highway the Straits of Juan de Fuca are and the amount of shipping that's on those straits. Uh, it's it's fantastic, and now we're going to to uh, to be drawing even more visitors because of the recognition of our historic preservation in the National Geographic. Uh, we're being written about all the time. Uh, of course, I'm an optimist. I'm paid a paid optimist. I'm a professional optimist, and I think that the downturn in the economy uh, is a terrible thing for the country. But I think that, in reality, it's probably going to bode very well for the tourist business in Port Townsend. People want to go someplace that's unique, someplace that's different. They don't want to go stay in uh, another chain hotel and eat in another chain restaurant. They want to go someplace where each of those experiences are unique, and that's Port Townsend. We, we have uh, 53, at my latest count, uh, restaurants in, uh, in this community. Uh, that have uh, incomparable food. I mean, quality you'd find in, in in New York. Key's restaurant is as good as any restaurant I've eaten in anywhere in the world. Lonza's, uh, uh, Finn's. I could I could go on and name probably all 52 of them. But it is uh, one of the things that people are marvel at when I talk to them. I see I, I work in a town of 9,000 people, and uh, we have 52 restaurants. We have unique shops. Uh, we have artists uh, by the legion that do unique work. That's another thing I love about Port Townsend is nobody does just one thing. Uh, you may be a cook at the Lighthouse Cafe downtown, and your wife owns the place, but you know what your love is, is you make these incredible lamps that out of translucent rock, and you work in the day and you make these lamps at night. And technology, we've got IntelliCheck Mobilisa. 
a uh, uh, international uh, uh, contractor who in uh, in high technology for the government and who's doing wonderful things uh, for our community in terms of bringing broadband. Uh, we've got uh, Aquilas uh, Technologies that, uh, in terms of being a green company, is probably one of the greenest in the country. They make demisters. The this piece of equipment goes inside of a smokestack, and it catches uh, uh, waterborne uh, part particulates, and they ship all over the world. And the guy who... Uh, who owns a foundry that makes uh, portholes uh, lives here and uh, we're getting the new software company that uh, tells ships how to use ballast to get back on uh, uh, an even keel and having been in the Navy for 20 years I'll tell you that's not uh, just an art and a science I think there's a little alchemy involved in making that work so there's 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 no limit to what's uh, available in, in Port Townsend and it is my uh, belief and my hope that uh, during the bridge life extension program, I refuse to talk about the bridge closure, that this community is going to uh, receive a lot of visitors who would have perhaps been international visitors and gone to uh, Austria or Ireland, both countries of which are on the verge of being broke, uh, and they're going to come here instead. <laughs> Thank you.